How far can you take picking out traits, though? Like, can you make an Elon Musk baby or a <laughs> Kylie Jenner baby? No, you can't. <laughs> um, you can. So one of the most important things to understand is that when you are doing embryo selection, right, the possible embryos you have is based off your partner. Okay, so the most important decision actually is who's your partner, right? <laughs> like if you want like a really smart baby, you should probably marry someone that's really smart, right? If you want a really tall baby, you should probably marry someone that's really tall because the embryo selection will always be a relative optimization, right? IQ can explain a couple IQ points, right? Um, height, you can, you know, explain a couple inches. But principally, if you, the most important kind of, the, the ingredients for your embryos comes from mom and dad. Right, so that's like by far the most important decision. Embryo selection is always a relative optimization, but even though it's a relative optimization, it can still be a highly useful relative optimization, right? You can still dramatically reduce a baby's risk, for example, for something like Alzheimer's, which is then strongly associated with uh, longevity uh, or breast cancer um, or coronary artery disease, which are the top killers in the United States today. And so all this to be said is that, you know, you can't make Elon, which you know, I don't even know if you want to make Elon. <laughs> you can't make Elon, but you can give your baby the best star in life. It's an important tool and it's going to become only more prevalent. Uh -huh.